Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw 3D charts in Mathematica. So first thing, open Wolfram Mathematica and create new notebook. Now here, I'm going to create a simple list. Let's name it a list. Add simple data into it. Close the list. Shift enter for your list. Now I'm going to create a very basic bar chart. So bar chart 3D. And within square bracket, send it your list. Then shift enter and it should draw your bar chart but in 3D form. Okay, as you can see, it will take some time to process this and it will return you the 3D form for your data. So one, two, three, four data is also possible to visualize by just holding over the mouse. Also, it will allow you to rotate your chart. So that 3D functionality is provided within your notebook. Okay. Now, the next type of 3D chart that I want to show you is pie chart. So pie chart 3D and within square bracket, let's create a simple list within that curly bracket, one, two, three and four and close square bracket, shift enter. And as you can see, it shows another 3D approach here. You can rotate this the way you want. Okay, as you can see, it is easily movable. Okay, so let's put it back and you have your distribution properly set up as well. So this was pie chart in 3D form. We have seen so far bar chart in 3D form, then pie chart. Now let's take a look at rectangle chart. So rectangle chart 3D. Now within square bracket, this function requires you to use the multiple set of data. So let's go with, let's say three, four, four. Close this list, then another list. Let's say three, six, three. Close this, comma, then four, three, five. Close this list, then close your entire list, then square bracket, shift and run. And you have your rectangle chart ready that contains three list of list. Okay, now let's scroll down and add one more list. For this, we are going to take a look at sector chart. So sector chart 3D within square bracket, we are going to add two curly brackets, two, two, three, and then two, one, two curly bracket, and then Again, curly bracket one two one and then close curly bracket square bracket close shift enter and you have your sector chart that will show you sector uh, so this may look like a little bit of pie chart but here distribution is such that it will be not uniform like your pie chart and it shows the sector and divides your entire circle into small pieces and based on the list data. So two, two, three, then one, two, one, and two, one, two, etc. Okay, so you get the idea of how sector chart is visualized here. Okay, so what we have seen so far is how to draw the bar chart, then pie chart, rectangle chart, and then sector chart. So these are the type of chart that you can typically draw and there are many other variations as well so you might you may want to take the documentation and also check out some more possibilities 
for candlestick chart and other charts.